Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, and Realtree. Day 17, November 2nd. For this morning's hunt, I'm down in a spot that I call the plow down plot. And uh, it started as a clover plot last spring. We plowed it down during the summer and planted big and beastie in here. And then I frost seeded clover during the winter. So this is actually uh, the first year for the clover in this plot. And the deer, I mean, it came in good, of course. You know, frost seeded clover always does well, but the deer have been mowing it down. Uh, super still morning. Another one of uh, really struggling with these still days. It's so hard to hunt the spots that you want to hunt because you just feel like you're making so much noise going in and out of there. So we, we chose to come here. And again, with these light and variable winds, we can get by in this blind really well compared to getting up in a tree where the wind is going to carry your scent all over the place. We can open one window, turn the ozonics on, we can pretty much get away with a lot more. I mean, last night's hunt was the exact same situation. We had deer all around us and nothing smelled us. I wish this weather pattern would pass though. I need some wind. Uh, I've got some spots that I really want to hunt. I just don't want to go crunching in there in the morning on these dead, dead calm days. I've never had good luck doing that. It seems like every deer knows that you're there. So we're just kind of biding our time still, but this is a spot where, you know, in p potentially uh, there could be some good bucks. We're not too far off that big sevens range. And this is an area that uh, surrounded by timber. It's down in this valley. It's a cool spot. Um, so anything could really pop out at any time. So far this morning, I've had uh, doe and a fawn feeding on the other end. Then a little buck came cruising through and uh, ran them out. So it's time for the interview now before anything else shows up. Hopefully this, I mean the deer do cruise through here. I mean this spot isn't just a feeding area during the rut. The bucks definitely work this. You know, it's down in this valley, so they work this whole valley. So, you know, this is a good morning spot, even though it is planted. Uh, it is a definite spot where deer that are on their feet in the morning would cruise through. about quarter to 11 and uh, I'm going to pack up for the morning hunt just a little bit early maybe to pack up but we haven't been seeing a whole lot of action here a little bit of cruising from some you know, I think two or three small bucks came through and uh, we had a few does and doe fawns in here or fawns the uh, afternoon is a little bit um, kind of questionable in my mind yet because I mean, it's starting to rain, and of course with camera gear we have to be in a blind when it's raining, so I'm glad we're inside right now. But uh, it's been so calm, and these conditions have really kind of, I would say, put a, a little bit of a stopper on uh, the movement in general. And it's kept me from really going after my better spots, so it's kind of where I'm at. I'll look, I'll look at the forecast at the middle of the day and decide what to do, but. I'm still playing defense, which uh, I don't like getting into November and still playing defense. I'd like to be more aggressive than what I'm being right now. I'm just protecting my best spots until the conditions are right. So I'm gonna take a few shots with the RX-3 before I go out and hunt this afternoon. I'm gonna take three cold shots, no warm up, 60 yards, uh, just see what I can do here. Uh, I don't shoot this far when I'm hunting, of course, and I do like to practice at the longer distances but I figure 40 yards and in for hunting. Uh, and again, it's a 
little bit breezy and I'm kind of putting myself on the spot here. But at least this will give you an idea uh, what this bow sounds like and what it looks like, you know, right, right here in the yard. And, you know, I'm not going to make perfect shots, but it'll be kind of fun anyway. Pretty good one there. Let's go down and take a look. For this afternoon's hunt, I've decided to stay right by the house here. We've got a southeast wind that's kind of light. Uh, it's the same kind of problem we've had the last couple of days, just the winds aren't real stable. Uh, but this is, this is a good spot. Anything east or southeast will work, and that's what the winds are supposed to be. So I'm just going right across the yard and into this patch of timber that borders the house. And you take a longer route to pull that off. I mean, if I walk straight in there, we'd probably bump deer and make too much noise. So we walk up the driveway, along the road, circle around, and then come back down the ridge to the stand. And I've had some great hunts there over the years, uh, like a lot of spots on this farm. You know, if the time is right, you know, any place here can be good. But this is what I would consider to be the far north end of that buck that I'm hunting that I've called the Big Seven of his range. And uh, I've heard a lot of reports from people this morning that have been seeing really big deer and had great hunts. We were sitting in the driveway here not too long ago and we saw a buck walk up that ridge behind me, two-year-old buck. So the deer are, on their, are definitely on their feet and they're on the move today. So I'm looking forward to getting back in the tree and seeing if we can find something right here in the front yard. getting down to the wire here this evening. It's a dark night. We have a pretty heavy overcast, so you know, we're losing light a little bit faster than we normally would. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to report, unfortunately, from today's hunting. Disappointing, I suppose you could call it, but you know, you have your good days and your bad days, and they're not all good days, so this is just one of those that was a little bit slow. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to rain. Tomorrow is Saturday. And uh, they're calling for up to, I think, six tenths to seven tenths of an inch. So that's a pretty good rain shower. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. I got to look at the forecast uh, when I get back to the office here and uh, decide if I'm going to be out tomorrow or not. <coughs> Excuse me. We're right next to the road here. You can hear the cars going by. Coming into the stand, we bump something that busted out like a mature buck. You know, young bucks will kind of bound off, crunch, crunch, crunch. This one just took off at a dead run through the woods. We never did get a good look at him, but that could have been the deer that we're after. I do think he lives in here at least some of the time. Uh, but anyway, so getting back to it, you'll just have to uh, keep checking back because I'm not sure right now if I'm going to hunt tomorrow. There's some family things that I could do, and if it's going to be raining, I'm just going to take care of some of that. But if it's not raining, uh, I will be back in the tree again tomorrow. So it's, it's that time of the year. You know, we just got to be out there and put your time in, try to hunt smart, be in the right places, and eventually, you know, something good happens. So we'll catch you back up again here real soon.